Recently, I was casually scrolling through DistroKid. I realized that they had some cool new features that I didn't actually realize that they had. So I wanted to go through some of them today and show you how you can be promoting your music and getting your music out there because it's really tough getting your music out there in general. So every little helps, right? The first thing I want to show you is the goodies section. Now, the goodies section has been updated, right? There used to be two sections here, um, but now there's about six different subcategories. And I'm going to talk about a few of them today. The first one I'm going to talk about is called the playlist spot spotlight. Now, this is a place where you can get your music playlisted on a Spotify playlist. Now, the cool thing about it is almost a bit like a game. So you vote which song you like. You go to vote and it skips. You can either listen to the song. Bitch, better watch your tone with me, bitch. Who you think you check? You listen to that song. Damn, this shit lit putting in work. You choose which one you like and you go to vote. Okay, you keep doing that, you keep doing that. And what that does is telling Distro Kid which song they should playlist. Now, if one song gets 100,000 votes and another song gets 10,000 votes, I believe DistroKid are going to obviously playlist the one that's, you know, got the most votes. But here's the cool thing about it. You can actually have your music here as well by simply going to my tracks and submitting your track, entering in your details. Go to 13 here, Casanova, you choose your single, you connect it with Spotify and then the general public will listen to your songs and then the winners will be added to the DistroKid playlist on Spotify. But it's a really cool feature that's going to allow so much more people to get playlisted, increase their streams, increase their revenue and increase their brand awareness, okay? More fans, more streams. The second brand new feature within DistroKid that I love is actually the mini video section which allows you to create short free videos that you can post on your social media. There's so many clients that I consult and they say, I don't have no one to post on my social media. I don't know what to post. I don't know this. I don't la 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 la. No more questions, no more concerns. You've got it all here. You simply choose your album art, you pick a song, and then you simply go to generate mini video and then it will take you, and it takes a few minutes to process. Now here's a few that I've done before in the past. 13 beats. Whenever I hear goodbyes, Reminds me, baby, of you. You gotta post on social media. The music business is no longer a talent contest, it's more a popularity contest. When you see it from that mindset, your mindset's gonna shift, right? What are some of the things that make us popular? Think about when you was in school, whether you was popular or someone else was popular. What made that person popular? They wore cool things, you know, they had charisma, they had personality, you know, they looked good, they felt good. These are all the tools that you need to use for your music, you look and feel good, all right? Second feature is in the promote yourself section again, and it's called social phone. Now, this is a really cool feature that I don't know how this show kid have managed to come up with this, but they've given everyone the ability to grow a fan base with text messaging. You sign up your cell phone number, okay, and you can start texting and receiving texts to your phone from other people. You can send out also texts to your audience, your fan base to let them know, you know what, just dropped a new single, come hang out with me and chill on YouTube or come purchase it from, you know, Spotify or iTunes. Social media can get taken away from you just like that because you don't own your social media, but you can own the emails you collect and you can own the phone numbers you collect. So you have to make that a priority because the day you do that, the day you control your traffic and traffic is king. Number four on the goodies list is actually one of my favorite ones, which is the promo cards. Now, to use a create a promo card, you go to uh, choose release, you choose your release that you want. Um, I'm gonna choose in my arms. All of your releases are there and it will generate different graphics, probably about 20 to 30 different cool graphics that you can use to promote your new release. There's at least 30 to 40 different images here that you can use to release and post on your social media to really build the buzz and let people know that you got music out there. You have to take advantage of this promo cards. Take it from me. I have someone, a graphic artist on my team that designs my graphics. If I had this when I didn't have that graphic artist, this would save me so much time, so much money, so much everything. And don't forget to use the hashtag DistroKid so that they can find you and they can say hi and repost your shit. I'm in love with the goodies menu on DistroKid. Don't forget, if you want to sign up to DistroKid and get 7% off of your annual membership, click the link in my bio below and you can sign up and get 7% off free for your entire membership for the whole year. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.